Hi, so we're working on this thing that I did in a previous video and I showed you how to make it and it's a transparent solar cell, a transparent flexible graphene based solar cell actually. Now a lot of people write to me and say, hey, what about the effect of a magnetic field? Because we know that it's um, graphite diamagnetic, certain kinds are very powerfully diamagnetic. Would it have an effect of aligning things up? And of course that's going to be an important thing because when we chucked the solution on there, it's virtually random actually because we just put the solution on there, let it dry all by itself, and it just settles down in a random kind of manner. Now, if the magnetic field actually has an effect, then it's going to line it up. It's going to line it up in opposition to the um, magnetic field as it happens, or so I think. So I thought, okay, well, let's give that a go, and let's see what we can do about that. Now, what I have here is a printer's magnet. It's meant for lining up type. And it's made of a whole load of little magnets pointing in the direction that you can see those lines. So the field runs like that from north to south, so the field's actually in that direction. But it doesn't really matter, what I'm going to do is lay up some plates. So I've made some samples with nothing on it, and I put little bits of tape on it, so I'll stop everything pouring all over the place. We get our strip of copper and our strip of aluminium. So I'm going to put one in that direction, and then one in that direction, to see if anything happens with that field. So I'll tape those down onto the magnet, and then put on a thin layer of our solution, which is here, and we'll see if after we let them dry naturally, we get any kind of effect on that. So let's put those on and tape them down. So there they are, taped to uh, the magnetic bed. So now let's just drop on some of our solution and leave them to dry naturally. So all we have to do is leave those to dry. So once they've dried, you can remove them. Obviously you need to tank them up, otherwise you won't remember which way around they were. So that one's going parallel, so we'll call that zero, and that's turned around, we'll call that 90, referring to the orientation of the strips. And there we go. They're now ready for testing. Okay, so we're having another dull day. So we're inside under the fluorescent light and um, we've got about two square centimetres of active surface. So don't expect amazing results, but let's do it the one that was at 90 degrees to the lines. And we can see we're getting 0 0.5, 0 0.6 there, 0 0.7, to the one that was parallel to the lines and we're getting about 0.1. So it's a pretty significant difference. Now, here's what we're talking about on the lines. This is the block, remember. And those lines represent the uh, magnets. And the magnetic field is going north, south, out like there. So the magnetic field is actually running that direction. So if I put the one on that was parallel to those lines, then with the magnetic field running that direction, because it's diamagnetic, it has rotated itself in that direction to lie between those two metal plates. What that means is there's no real or poor conduction because it's now lined up in that direction. We'll put on the one that was at 90 degrees to the field, and again remember, the field is running that way, the graphene is diamagnetic, so it has been rotated in that direction. So now the graphene is lying much more in line between those two plates, and so we're getting improvement in conduction. Now although this is a relatively strong magnet, it's not as strong as it could be. So the magnetic field is clearly having an effect on the conduction capability of this device. And I thought that was really interesting, so I thought I'd share it with you. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.